Oh, hi. I usually don't do the face cam thing much these days, but uh, I figured with it came from Tumblr 11, it was about time to do so. Mainly for two big things that I wanted to talk about before I started the, the binge thing. Uh, first off, I know a lot of people were joking around saying, hey, you should do a binge compilation of the binge compilations for Tumblr when you have enough. And that became more of a sincere request as the jokes continued. So people were like, yeah, man, you should totally do it. Uh, so I think for Christmas, that's just what we'll do. But then again, I don't know how many people are going to be using YouTube on Christmas anyway. But that'll be there. Maybe. Possibly. Don't count on it. But if I decide to do it, that's the day it'll be up. And the second one is uh, for Project Orc. Because I know people were asking a lot about that and what's the updates on it. If I could be fully honest right now, and you know as soon as I say that it's going to be bad news, but... It's kind of on hiatus until I move to Los Angeles, which I'm trying to do the beginning of 2019. Um, it's better set up and able to collaborate with a lot of people on it because I live in upstate New York right now and there's not that many creative types here. No offense. It's just where I live, I feel like I'm the only guy who uses YouTube as a job outlet so that might not happen for a while and i'm sorry i know a lot of people really like project orc but it is one of those things i'd love to expand more and i'd love to do more things and it's one of those things i can't do it by myself i just can't so with that said those are the two big things i wanted to clarify because i know a lot of people actually watch the business compilations a lot more than my normal videos so i figured that was the best way to get those messages across so as always this is a compilation of all the things that I've done with Tumblr previously, with less ads and annoyance. So yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy the madness. Bye! If I can't bring the spoon to my face, then I'll bring my face to the spoon. Beautiful. Ah, me as a parent. Oh, hey, TK Simon uploaded a new Tumblr video. Mother, why? Why did you set me on fire? My kid was having a pool party, and the Green Reaper showed up and took the whole plate of grilled salmon. Ugh! Rude! What? It's dead. I had to take it. So one of my sims died, and the Grim Reaper turned up to do his business, and then another one of my sims went into labor, and the Grim Reaper started freaking the hell out! This is not my job! This is the exact opposite of my job! I had two very attractive sims, and they had a baby. But the kid was hideous, so I had it taken away. Because I'm an asshole. And they had a daughter, and she was beautiful. But once she started school, she brought a friend home. It was the first kid. Fuck you, Dad. Fuck you. I figured I can't count if I said it funny. Character in The Sims was taking photo booth pictures with another Sim who died halfway through. Spooky. For real, how does that happen? Father, why do you cry? First off, I'm pretty sure that's not your dad. Give me those titties, mother. Oh god, get it away, get it away, get it away! I don't like that! My sim befriended the Grim Reaper when her roommate died in a fire, and now she's graduating from university, so I invited the Grim Reaper to the ceremony, and when he came, he had to change into formal clothing, and this is what he looked like. whoops -a. Is that... Is that Enderman Gavin? I don't know, but god damn, he's hot. The creature tries to remember what it once was. I can tell you what you are now. An abomination. <laughs> Get out of my house. Cute anime girl with Morgan Freeman's voice. Goodbye. Ever since I was a little girl, I just wanted Senpai to notice me. Actually, it totally works. Help, I keep eating waffles and I cannot be satisfied. How do I satisfy the waffle gods? Well, I did the research and I hate to tell you this, but you're gonna have to keep eating more waffles. Probably about a hundred of them. So what if the world were made of glazed donuts? What would you do? Well, I would probably do what you should be doing right now. I go to bed. Does thy sir have a large breasted gothic maiden to court? Is... is this dude asking me if I have a big titty goth girlfriend? Country roads! Wait, what, what, what are you doing? Oh no. Oh no. 
Oh no. Oh no. I feel it. I feel it within me. I feel it. Take me home to the place that I love. West for God damn it. Brian Taylor, why does he have a rope? Is that his secret kink he's been hiding all this time? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Pran, calm down. Are you old enough to get this reference? Feed me, Seymour! Audrey, not now. I'm not the right Seymour anyway. So I'm just curious, oh great fur guru, is the newest Erica any good? Well, let me ask you this question. Do you like turning noontime into a really fun mini Aether? Because I sure do. Lunar Brace is a goddamn blessing. Hey, buddy. Want to mind reading my only post? You got it, dude. I like your icon, by the way. PM, question. How mad would you be if I said you're an amazing person and someone loves you? <sighs> How dare you say that to me? Werewolves were the first furries. I mean, as if you couldn't make furries cool enough. You just made them cooler, so. Good job. Can you summarize my blog in one sentence? Sorry if I'm bothering you. Um, cute avatar, please go follow. Nailed it. Whenever you say F-E-H, I feel like you're yelling F in anger until I remember it stands for Fire Emblem Heroes. Well, I did it in the post before, mainly to have this be sort of like a fun reference to go back to to listen to that part again. So yeah, I always had, I, I did a thing. I, I can't do this anymore. You're a dad. Welcome to the dad club. I have many dads. You are one of them. I will return soon. Buckle up, buckaroo. You're in for a lot of jokes. God, every time I see a post about Updog, I'm torn between not wanting to fall for it and wanting to help the poster complete their joke. Okay, but what's Updog? Updog is a long sausage in a bun often served with ketchup, mustard, onion, and or relish. <laughs> no, that's a hot dog. An Updog is when a new version or patch of an application is released. Oh, you're thinking of an update. Updog is when you end a sentence with a rising intonation. No, that's Uptalk. You're thinking of the fourth largest city in Sweden. No, surely that's Uppsala, whereas Updog is a giant spider in Harry Potter. Um, that's Aragog. Updog is a symbol conventionally used for an arbitrarily small number in analysis proofs. You're thinking of Upsilon. Updog is an upward moving air current. No, that's an updraft. Updog isn't a noun at all, it's a verb. It basically means to chew someone out or harshly lecture them. No, that's Upraid. An Updog is a small dog that likes cuddling on people's laps. No, that's a puppy dog! An Updog is when the Mets win. Ugh, no, that's an upset. An Updog is the modern version of a Henway. What's a Henway? Oh, about five pounds. <laughs> Woo! We did it, folks! Longest winded joke in existence! Give it up! Stealing is a crime, and drugs is a crime too. But if you steal drugs, the two crimes cancel out, and it's like basically doing a good. Trust me, I am a lawyer man. When I grow up, I- Slow down there, buckaroo. Was Voldemort a virgin? Did you see him in fifth year? He wasn't a virgin. Imagine being the chick to do the frick frack with the Dark Lord Voldy. Tumblr.com, where we can discuss having sex with Voldemort, but we can't actually say the word sex. Doing the do with you-know-who. If you wore a VR headset linked to a camera drone that was set to follow you from a few feet behind you, you could live in third person. Disassociating. If you can't disassociate naturally, store-bought is fine. Why do Americans freak out over us Canadians having bagged milk? Who the frank bags milk? Who the frank brings guns into Walmart? Yeah, that's fair. I just remember that in middle school there was a kid named Ugun on my lunch, and every time he bought pizza I was like, You gonna eat that? I guess I was kind of harassing him, so he told the principal, and the principal made me buy him a pizza for harassment, and the next day I was like, You gonna pay me back? And that's the story of how I almost got stabbed with a plastic fork. You live up to your URL. I like you. I'm watching a sports. The sports did good. Did the ball go? French dude, it sure did! Two reasons why Fall Out Boy is incredible. One, when their label told them to shorten the titles of their songs, they did. By taking out all the vowels and shortening a song title to Thanks for the Moomers. Two, they have a song titled, Our Lawyer Made Us Change the Name of This Song So We Couldn't Get Sued. Fun fact, the original name of the song was, I Liked You So Much More Before You Were a MySpace Whore. I didn't know that. And now I enjoy. Gentlemen, we're at war with Troy, and must not drop our guard at all. Sir, the enemy gave us a giant wooden horse. Oh, Rad, bring it in. 
I hope it's filled with candy. My sister has apparently had to stop playing Skyrim because she stole every book in the game to stock her house. So now her house is full of books to the point where it almost breaks the game, and every time she tries to read one, guards teleport into her home and arrest her. Ray Bradbury, Fahrenheit 451, 1953. That's it, that's literally the book. May I present to you, Mad Scientist Power Switch. Oh my god! I need it for my lab room, normal room. I would just put this in a normal room where I am definitely not reanimating the dead. No, sir. You are boring. I just suck at conversations. I'm sorry. A novel by me. I'm not ignoring you. I just don't know what to say. A sequel by me. I feel like I have nothing interesting to say, so I don't say anything at all. And I'm really sorry. Don't stop talking to me. The trilogy. I wonder who was the first person to look at a beehive and think, those bastards are hiding something delicious in there, and I know it. It's actually a very good point. I tell dad jokes, but I have no kids. I'm a faux pas. I'm in. Confused person looking at snow prints. Who the freckles strapped freaking keyboards on their shoes? Police detective examines footprints leading away from the crime. Why did we ever anger the machines? He asks himself sorrowfully. Do flat earthers think Earth still moves in space like some sort of planet-sized frisbee? This is my new religion. God made the frisbee Earth and then just tossed us into the abyss. The world ends when his dog catches it. As Cosmogandhi's go, I've seen worse. Two great but opposed celestial forces. God, who created the world. And dog, who will end it. I love how men mock women for being over-emotional and then lose their shit over a team losing an over-glorified game of fetch. I have found my purpose in life and it is spreading this message. Why does everyone say housewife or house husband when house spouse is not only gender neutral but also rhymes? Wait, spouse rhymes with house? I always pronounced it spoos in my head. Why is your language so weird? Because English beats up other languages in dark alleys, then rifles through their pockets for loose grammar and spare vocabulary. That's actually what English is. Just trust your gut. Pal, I have anxiety. My gut is literally always telling me to abort mission. So, <clears throat> which one of you is, uh, you know, uh, the one who doesn't French toasting text back? Oh my god! Just drove past some confetti that said, butter is a milkshake, and honestly... I can't argue with that, but I want to meet the guy who felt strongly enough about it to put it on a street sign. And now, I can never unthink that. Also, it makes that stupid My Milkshake song just become a music video about some lady holding a whole bunch of butter. If you're American and coming to Australia, I'm gonna go ahead and say that you should be 100% way more worried about being king hit by a dude named Dane in a Bing Tang singlet than any f***ing spiders that exist here. What does this say in English? Good sir, if you are a resident of the United States of America and coming to visit the sunny land of Australia, allow me to inform you that you should be rather more concerned about being sucker punched by a gentleman named Dane, who is likely to be seen wearing a wife beater with a beer company logo on it, than by any of the dangerous spiders that exist on this lovely continent. Okay, so what does this say in American? You're more likely to get sucker punched or cold cocked by an asshole than you are to be bitten by a spider. Thank you. Well, rattle my spoons, that don't make a lick of sense. What in tarnation does this hootenanny say? If you mosey on by Australia, you best be fixing to get some fisticuffs more and checking for spiders. This is a Rosetta Stone for a single language. And this is why English is so fucking complicated. Drug doer has reblogged sex haver. Ah, oh, jeez, my mom warned me about these kinds of internet users. Only the true king could remove the sword from the stone. No one else could. They didn't have authorization. <laughs> Remember, sneeze on your knuckles before a fight in order to inflict poison damage. This amazing sculpture is called the Caring Hand and is located in Glarus, Switzerland. <laughs> it's a palm tree. I hate you. Robin. Robin, this is not what I meant. Quick to the son of a bitch! A proud new dad sits down to have a drink with his father. Well, son, now that you've got a kid of your own, I think it's time to give you this. Dad, you don't mean... Yes, son. I do. Dad pulls out a copy of A Thousand and One Dad Jokes, 5th edition. Dad, I'm honored, he says, tears sparkling in his eyes. Hi, Honored, replies his father. I'm Dad. You can make one man's trash to another man's treasure, but you can't make a drink 
Fun fact, the blending of idioms or cliches is called a malifor. My personal favorite is, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. I'm rather fond of, it's not rocket surgery, and not the sharpest egg in the attic. But my all-time favorite is, until the cows freeze over. You open this can of worms, now lie in it. Bilbo wakes up suddenly to... Don't stop believing! It was an unexpected journey. Get out! I just choked on my second breakfast! I had a dream that I was walking around in a shirt with stalks of corn all over, and somebody was like, what the French toast are you wearing? And I said, it's a crop top! I laughed so hard that I woke up. Oh. My. Gods. Waldo from the Where's Waldo books. He wears stripes. Because he doesn't want to be spotted. I'm gonna hit something. Real hard. <laughs> I'm a piece of trash. As someone who cares deeply about the environment, I am obligated to pick you up. Is Seven okay? You smooth farquad. I poured my root beer into a square cup. Now I just have beer. Don't drink and derive. Fudge! Nope! Mm -mm. Fudge this! Nope! Fudge! Shut the fudge! Nope! Get up! Goodbye! Nope! Mm -mm. Trying so hard not to swear right now! I fell for this! I fell for this so hard! Nope! Mm -mm. No!